Just some sounds? I you hear words. Just me growling for two words. That sounds great. Right. Right. It's, it's really quick performances, which is nice. You know, you don't get tired. See, see now that we have Rob on, we can finally... We, we, we can have this whole thing where you guys are, like, talking in the beginning of the of the show as we go live. So, Why is like, that not we, we, used to, we used to have that happen with Christian all the time. And then he doesn't get tricked anymore. Yeah, but he hasn't gotten tricked in a while. But now, now that uh, Rob's on, because we have an outsider. Outsiders don't know the lingo. <clears throat> so, yeah, I do know the lingo. I watch the show. So you think a viewer? <laughs> <laughs> the viewer's probably me. No, I was talking about Rob. We've got, uh, okay, so tonight uh, we have a special guest. We've got uh, Rob with us. So, uh, Hi, everybody. When he heard that we were doing some more mainline figures, he's like, man, sign me up. He's like, I'm all done with Masterpiece. Like, I'm, I'm uh, you know, now that, now that the world has changed, I've changed too. And he's going to sell off all his Masterpiece, and he's going to only collect Hasbro mainline. Is that right, Rob? That was a word for word reproduction of a conversation we had earlier. Just <laughs> down every last bit of it. Aside from the every team, word of it. In my head. Aside from that. <clears throat> so. But no, you I got did these at least in. get these. For yeah. Some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I love Piranicon. I'm a big fan of Piranicon. Um, I just, I love the colors. I love how, you know, classically the they make. You know, they're all heads or arms, they're all legs, and they're all guns. You know, in the original Pretty set, this, sweet. this set doesn't do it, but the original set, too, all their extra weapons and bits, you know, that they use for gun mode, they also could make stands. So they all could be True. set up as stands along with um, uh, Snap Trap. So, I don't know, I just, I've always loved the set. So, yeah, I got all of the whole set in today from uh, Collecticon Toys. So, we got it super quick. So, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, because apparently Collecticon is not sourcing their figures from Hasbro Pulse. Instead, they're sourcing them from, I think, uh, directly from Asia. And and so they actually, I think, got the entire set in before we got any of our our figures. Or maybe about the same time. Yeah, I mean, he's the first two waves came in a bit ago, but I had them all held so that you could just ship yeah. all at once for me. Yeah. Yeah, we, well, we actually great. got, I think this is, what, number three and four, supposedly. And so one and two, I think, are coming next week. Is that right, Christian? One and two are what we're reviewing now. Two, uh, three and four are coming next week. I was thinking, that don't the boxes say three and four, though? I have no idea. I swear my box said three and four. No, these were these were the, the boxes don't say anything. First. No, the the Hasbro slip covers. That's why it took so long for us to get them. Is they had to manufacture those additional slip covers. It's like a box inside of a box inside of a box. It's so, really way too much packaging. Yeah. So if you're concerned about, you know, the uh, whatever stuff getting on your packaging or whatever, it's like you've got multiple layers, layers, layers upon layers upon layers. Like how so, we, don't often, we don't often talk about packaging on this this review show, but I wanted it's to so this time. Much. Oh, you do you have it in front of you? Let's go ahead and do it. Though. Yeah, I, I was just curious, like how what differences there were, just because it's like you said, it's a little excessive. So there's the individual mailer box, right? Right. And then there's this box, which is a slip cover with a bunch of Japanese text on it and, and English, a mix of both, which has this box. And I assume at this point down, it's the same as yours. So, uh, so both of those boxes are the same um, as what we okay. got. Uh, yeah, we just get we get an additional slip cover on top of the Takara slip cover. So I guess I can <laughs> I can well, I can go grab it. It's I I didn't actually. It's in. It's like right over there. But is it an I'll additional my... slip cover? Just one on top of the other? Um, actually, technically, it's not a slip cover. It's actually a box. Okay, got so, it. Yeah. Yo, dog, I heard you like boxes. <laughs> so I got you a box for your box so you can open your box after you open your box. That's yeah. okay, though. It'll be hard for us to get shipping materials for a while, so now you have some. 
Yeah, I, I don't think you want to use these boxes. This <laughs> your shipping boxes. So. Sure. Why not? So, as Ron says that, uh, you know, they said they're going to use less plastic, so it's just more cardboard. <laughs> Remember that? Uh, there you go. Know. Okay, so if you open that up, then it looks like what open, I got. Open this up. Yeah, I guess we didn't get the mail this, a box though. Which is what I got. Okay. The, that outside brown. This. The the mail <laughs> box that you got, Rob. <laughs> we didn't get that one. The, the like the outside one you had. Okay. So. Oh, you're that's... missing out. That's I know, right? <laughs> yeah. It's got misspelled names on it. That was really cool to see from your pick earlier. Does it? Mob Law, I think. It didn't it's have Lob a C Claw. Or Lob Plow. Plow, that's what it was. I mean, that's what it is on the whole thing, too. That may just... Is it just what it is, Lob Plow? I mean, because if this is going to be the same as yours, it's going to be Lob Plow. I mean... Lob Plow, here we come. I, I can't imagine that that other name was taken, right? Like, there's there's no way, right? Like, Lobclaw was, like, trademarked and they had to use Lobclaw. Lobclaw. Like... Just use the American name. Not later, bro. I mean, it's Lobclaw on the instructions. Oh, it's Lobclaws all the way down. I mean, it, we need We're Peter to, like, Lobclaw. somehow Maybe tell us can. that somehow it got referenced in, you know... Head, you know, Japanese headmasters or victory or something like that, and that's where it changed. Well, and... actually, Lobclaw <laughs> is the proper angelization of his Japanese name. Wow. I didn't know that. Thank you for educating us. I don't know that either. No, we, we no. have no idea, but like, I'm sure that somebody does. So. Yeah, Rodimus Supreme says it's boxception. That's very correct. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so, so anyway, what is the same? Why so so luckily, we, we are super lucky that these were delayed because now, since, like, who knows when toys are going to come out again or when we can actually go to the store, and so now we can do, like, six straight weeks of, uh, of C-Cons, right? Ooh, C-Cons. Yeah, oh, boy. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, it's very different than this toy I have. It is actually, actually yeah. very different. Why are you doing this? Huh? Causing trouble? Is it just to annoy me? <laughs> are you are you gonna refer to him as C icons? Like, uh, no, the C icons well? is definitely just to annoy you. Oh the comparing them to the original mold, that's just how I am. Like literally nothing is the same on that. Absolutely like even zero things are the same. Yeah. Like even the parts this is where it's your like chance to be right about something. And like I was looking at the lower legs. I'm like, I have Ripper Snapper. He's just he's over on the shelf. I was like, oh, I wonder if those are the same. Like, no. I mean, it's it's obviously like they took the template, you know, but all the parts are different. That's okay. Mine's here to harass you. It's all good. No, I thought that was a fun combiner war set too. That's one of the few I bought as well. Just because how often do we get an abominus? Yeah. And monsters. Three times in the past couple of years. <laughs> right. True enough, but monsters are fun. So. Yes. The Legends ones don't count. This is the first Piranicon we've had in new molds since 88. Right? Yes. Unless you want to count Creo. I don't want to count Creo, so I'm not counting it. We've had a reissue. We've had the club issue. We've had God Neptune since then, but it's the first new mold. Yep. So I still think so, it's like really, it, it's kind of weird that Hasbro is not offering this like as their own set. Like, do you think it was just like too expensive for them and Takara wanted to go all out? And so they're like, dude, like you're using way too much paint and materials and all that. Like, we're yes, good. Yes. Like, yeah. Yep. I yep. think this I was a case of. You know, they looked at brand Unity, and what Hasbro was willing to do just wasn't enough. Hasbro probably didn't feel there was enough of a market for it. Like, I'm kind of surprised Hasbro put out a botanist, to be honest. Um, and they were probably like, well, the car's like, well, we're doing this. And they're like, cool, we'll make it selects. It'll be more expensive, but, you know, everybody wins. And they're like, cool, done. 
here he is. Yeah, I agree with all that. Next to Mr. G1. It probably isn't picking up uh, super yeah. well on the camera, but like the pink shade is a little too light. Okay. You know, and the blue is more green blue on this than this. But I don't know. The colors on here are great. The only reason I even mentioned the pink is because I also have TFCs. I don't know what. Oh, I, uh, I was switching around the cameras. Oh. But I have TFCs as well, and like the pink on here is nice. That's like the closest thing I have to complain, is I wish the pink were more of a richer pink. But Okay. It, That's fair. But it's still great. So... Yeah, under my my really bright LEDs, I've got an LED overhead and LEDs from the case coming in from my right. Uh, it, it's very much paler than when I look at it kind of in a darker setting. This is not going to help you see what my darker setting looks like, but I can see where, where Rob's talking about there. It is kind of pale. You know, I was watching some videos uh, like uh, on YouTube, and I felt like on the video it showed up darker than like what it does in hand. Hmm. Which is weird. That can depend so much on the person set up too, though. That's true. Yeah, true, true, true. So I don't think we've actually said who this is yet. This is no, nope. <laughs> oh, yeah. as he's known in America, Scaler, and he's a coelacanth, which is dope. I wouldn't even know how to spell thing? that. C o e l a c a n t h. Sounds like coelanth. <laughs> That's how I would pronounce it if I saw that word. Yeah. English is you stupid. Yeah. I don't think it's English. I think it's Latin. Not yet, Tony. Not yet. Tony asked if there was anything on an oversized KO version. Let the regular version come out to the U.S. customers first. and You know, the version I'll buy. I mean, Anna will be all over it. But, like, it won't have the same colors at all. Like, the figures won't even be the same. And, you know, like, Anna will love it because it's some kind of weird knockoff thing. No, it'll be like bright orange with black spots. It'll be great. It'll be, it'll be in the colors of that KO you got at TF Conrad. <laughs> I'm still so, happy about so that. So I have I have a question just in general. So you know we've had multiple versions of like hands and feet now at this point uh, between Takara and Hasbro and all that. Why did it take them five years to finally get the freaking hands right? What do these, these do? These hands that... are fantastic. Like, okay, so... Like, these are pretty forgettable to me, so educate Compared... me. Oh, they, have, they have individually articulated fingers, which is great. They're not fully articulated fingers, but they do individually articulate. They have only one thumb that looks like a thumb, and then it can move to the other side of the hand. Do the other Combiner Wars hands not do that? So the Combiner they Wars no, hands they're like have stupid. like a talon that does move from side to side. Oh, and then the like Power of the Prime it. hands have two thumbs, so it doesn't yeah, have to here, move Yeah, here's side the side. Power of the Prime. This one yeah. it has right. two freaking those. thumbs or whatever on ball joints. Whereas this one, instead, they have like a little joint in the mm -hmm. middle. So then you can flip it back and forth depending yeah, on okay. which one you use it for. And you can still articulate the thumb. Yeah, this is not a and, issue. Yes. Well... It, it only out to out out movement. Yeah. It doesn't curl. It looks like it actually has fingers. It, I said yes. that. Yeah. yeah. Said. Well, I'm impressed. Okay. So there's no knuckle I mean, joints, but you know it's something. No, yeah, no knuckles, I, but each finger is individually articulated. But why, if they did new hands, why did they bother to still do the power of the primes? Dumb little filler thing here, like what? <laughs> maybe maybe yeah. it's not different though. I mean, this is a different filler mold. Yeah, I'm maybe it's used for something. Like I haven't looked at the instructions as all as I've been opening. Maybe it's used for gun mode or something. I don't know. I didn't maybe even it's think about that. part of the manga that comes with it. I don't know. Yeah. Randall says uh, premium price equals premium parts. And uh, I'd agree with that. I mean, yeah, it does come with new parts. I mean, we saw Super Snapper a lot. They they came with a couple guns that were similar to these guns. They're not the same guns. They're not the same guns at all. But they're the ones that go on the, the back and the side of the beast mode head. And, and they, they plug are, together to make a bigger gun. Together. Okay. Like so that. the confusion it I had. Sword. It comes with this new gun. That makes it spin as well. Which is great. I had the wrong one for tonight. The one that's <laughs> very similar to Han is Overbite. 
Overbite looks just yes, like Yes, Overbite guy. looks more similar to River Snapper. I did. Is this, one, is this the one you're talking about, Anna? No, she's talking about this guy. Oh, that From one. the okay. Piranha set. Ah, thank you. The purple fishy, yeah. The purple and blue fishy. That was the one I had as a child, so I kind of want it, but, uh, price. This actually looks like the parts of, like, just looking at Anna's there, like, the chest details look the same. Yeah, the, that's the, the leg are details are the same. Is I thought that was the one we were doing tonight. That's why I got him out because the like it is really similar. This yeah. one is remolded enough that I will give it a pass. You're welcome. I mean, it's, it's essentially an entirely new mold. It's based on that mold, but it's it's brand new. We'll save and, this and for later. The paint on the figure, I mean, is just it's it's crazy how much paint there is. I mean, like it's. Most of That's the pink good, parts, though. I believe, are painted. All the pink is paint. Yeah. Yep. All of that pink is paint, which is, but then, is great. And then, like, just, like, the little knee parts are, you know, additional, like, small paint. You yeah, know, the, yellow the teeth accents are, are painted. Paint. Yeah, all the yellow accents and stuff. I mean, I, I do think that they really went all out on this deco to, to make it yeah. look nice. The symbol's really clean, too. Yeah, yours looked a bit off center there, but on mine, it it's pretty dead on. Yeah, that was fine. Um, I mean, if you get like for what what was the retail? It's like thirty five bucks, something like that. Yeah, yeah, I think thirty seven when all was said and done. Yeah, I mean, you know, for that type of figure and an import from Japan, like the paint's great, but like, I mean, if you get into it, there's a bunch of little mistakes. Like you know, like I have overspray on the underneath. Like on the sides of the heads, you know, like sometimes it doesn't come all the way down, or sometimes it goes just a little outside the lines. But that's pretty typical from the mass-produced factories, you yeah. know. Like, like it's not like there's just blotches everywhere, but there's yeah. tons of little, you know, little bleed yeah. here, a little under there. I yeah. totally understand because I just tried to paint a figure the other night. I understand the paint mess mistakes. It's nothing I mean, that thousands. I would say was like. You know, it's got terrible paint because it's got this no. you know, big. Like like Rob said, it's it's typical of mass-produced figures. Yeah, it's it's just like little minor imperfections. Nothing agrarious at all. And again, the tempo stickers look really nice, or the tempo to symbols. So yeah. An yeah, another nice. touch I think is really cool too is that these legs are uh, there's like little universal joints on there, like with ratchets. And so yes. they're articulated instead of just like hanging out. So like on that's a like the monster bots where it's just like a pin. Like there's so I I mean that is oh, I didn't even super know could do neat. that. I didn't know it could do that. I'm learning this for the first time. There you go. Like you would that's not expect cool. there to be ratchets there. No, and that's the feet good. are ratcheted. The feet are ratcheted too, which again. Not something we uh, normally would get. Oh, I didn't a, realize. I didn't realize that. So there we are. Yeah, they can collapse a bit more in bot mode. That's great. awesome. I mean, I feel like that these obviously, you know, these are mass-produced toys and, and whatnot. But like, I feel like this is the kind of stuff that like I love. Where you know, I don't really want to spend a hundred bucks like on the TFC one uh, on each figure. Like I'd re I, like. But spending thirty five dollars on one where they go the extra mile to put paint on it and ratchets and things like that is is nice. Yeah. Um, one like the closest, I don't know, probably like the, I don't know. Right now the the main like quality control issue because he's like the hips out to outer are a little loose, but I don't know his ball joints. I'm kind of used to it, but the hands are really hard to get out. Which is very accurate to the G1 toy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my G1 toy. Like, I didn't even bother to get this other fist out. Just It's so tight in there. Um, like, I find I have to plug, it, plug in the gun and then use the gun to get enough angle to get it out. And then just it like kinda, the G1 toy. Well, just like the G1 toy. And then it kind of wants to droop. Uh, the one left, wasn't that typical. Sorry. Like, if I shake it, you know, the hand droops oh, The left one is very droopy, yeah. The right one's the same for me. They're both like that. It almost feels though that like that wrist, even though I mean I can see that it's a no, it's not a pin. It's just friction. It's a friction. I, yeah. I think there's ratchet joints in it because it clicks as it comes up, but then like it doesn't click at the top. But as it goes down and up, you can hear it clicking in there, and that's why it's so hard to get out. 
Mm. At least on mine. But overall, it's not like it's a floppy mess or anything, by any means. That's good. This sword combines with somebody else's sword, right? I don't know. I've been... As I've been opening them, they all have, like, individual it's stuff, like, here's... Tabs. I think here's all the other... swords, don't they all combine together? So there. I combined it with uh, Overbite's sword part. Okay, cool. So not, I yeah, don't know like how you can't hold it as a sword. I mean, it's it's in there, but the uh, the down bits right here make it so you can't hold it. Yeah, it gets in the way. Too I much guess, I guess that's kind of holding it, or... But you can put it on the side of the gun, and it looks like a bayonet on his double gun, even if you want. Which again is very much like the original toy, where a lot of, a lot of them had individual weapons, but their their weapons could also combine together to make you know a bigger weapon. Then you'd plug that weapon into their mouth for their gun mode. So you mentioned the weapon stands from G1 earlier, and mm -hmm. I'm really hopeful that someone like Perfect Effect will come along and make an upgrade kit for this set, and it will include those weapon stands. That'd be cool. Make a B something. That'd be really great. Because not, not. I mean, these are really good. That the hands and feet are way better. I've, I've had a, a bit of a preview at Snap Trap for next week, and the combine mode head is fantastic. This is a really, really good set. It's probably the most cohesive combiner war style combiner we've gotten. But you know, even that could use upgrade kits, and I think Perfect Effect has done a good job in the past. I, I think they can knock it out of the park here. Yeah, as someone who doesn't buy a whole lot of mainline stuff, and like I didn't buy most of Combiner Wars. Like at this point, I've gotten all the molds from some more interesting release. Like I got the G2 Minosaur because I thought that was cool, you know. And I got like the uh, some of the Botcon exclusives. Like you know, they made the Tripedicus Council and some of the other ones. Are. So I've I've played with all of them at this point. Um, but this is a really nice set. It's I don't know, it's really cool. The colors are. And again, I'm a sucker for the colors, so I probably have a bit of blinders on there, but I don't know. I think we're all suckers for these colors. <laughs> right? Yeah, the colors are fun. <laughs> so 80s. Oh, these are great. Garish. Well, that's it. the thing when uh, when we did when they did Victorian, like I wish those colors would have been brighter at the time, just because like I don't like the whatever green color that they used in red like it was too muted like whereas i felt like if they would have just went like neon or something mm -hmm. like and i realize they're from the rust planet and yada yada but like i don't know i i still think it the colors would have turned out better had they done that instead of what they did i think that's a perfect example where it's like some people are like oh man see a new people shouldn't have voted those colors it's like the colors that got voted in weren't the problem. It's all about execution. Right. And they just right. they yes. executed that color set poorly, unfortunately. Yeah, no one voted to have it only those colors everywhere, all over the place. No one voted for that. Yeah. Makes like, it so he's a combiner. It's unique. So yes, so here's here's my question <laughs> just in general about these combiners. One, I mean, I guess, like, we don't have the whole set except for Rob, so we don't necessarily know. But, like, like, what is your bar right now for, like, any Takara combiner or, uh, or Hasbro or whatever? Like, what would your favorite, like, combiner be, like, before the Seacons? We don't know whether or not Seacons would be number one yet or not. The Unite Warriors comp you draw on? Combine of Horse Computron or Superion? I'd go with Abominus. But yeah, I, like I, I would go with Unite We're all Warriors. different. Go us. I, well, I was going to go with Unite Warriors Computron as well. So Okay, we're not all different. You and I are smart, Lucas. It's okay. But, I don't have Computron for that matter. Like, I thought about getting it a few times, but I just, I don't know. I never pulled the trigger on it. And now I'm like, I figure I lived with it for this, without it for this long. That's so why I make Toys Quantron, yeah. and I'll just. Hang on to that. It's not like I'm getting money back for it. The thing I like about these figures are is like the the Make Toys uh, Computron is in incredible. Like I I love the articulation. I love the way it looks. Right, but I never want to transform it. Whereas that's Terrible. what I like about these figures is these are fun to fiddle with, and I am willing to, you know 
take apart a combiner, fiddle with it, put it in the different modes, display it that way. And I feel like I'm constantly flipping Combiner Wars figures, whereas any third-party combiner, I feel like I have fun with it. Like, you know, usually I'll get them in, like, one by one. I'll transform them in the different modes. But once it gets into combined mode, like, at that point, it's done. Like, I'm never... T- <laughs> I'm never going to com- uh, to transform it again. I don't know with you, Rob, with like any of the combiners you have, is that the case with you, or do you feel like that after you get a combined mode that you're flip- still flipping them back and forth? Yeah, I, I honestly, I don't play with uh, the toys I already have near enough. Like, I consider that a problem, you know. But And, and that doesn't, honestly, I play with my Masterpiece toys more than I do Combiner War stuff or, like, mainline stuff. Like, whatever I've gotten recently from the main line, or, like, you know, my uh, uh, Beast Box toys and stuff, like, I'll fiddle with those at my desk, but lots of times, like, I'll grab, like, a Masterpiece figure and take it upstairs, like, you know, when I'm done at the computer for the night, you know, and I'll just, I'll take that and I'll fiddle with that while I'm watching TV or something. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, for, like, longer, and sometimes, depending on the figure, it might be up there for a few nights, you know, because it takes a while to go back and forth on some of those. Um, But... I mean, I, I play with those a lot. Like, I've played with Masterpiece of Inferno, God, I don't know how many times. Like, I love transforming that figure. But, like, Combiner Wars Minosaur, I've, I think I've, I combined it, and that was the end of it. You know? Okay. They're the G2 Minosaur, that is. Some of these figures, I feel like, I feel like doing that sort of thing, right? Like, these guys, I didn't really, like, just because I, I don't know. I was disappointed in the Abominus guys, so, oh well. But, um... But, like, some of the Siege era stuff, like, Cliff Jumper, I never transform because he annoys me with the parts forming to transform. I like him as a figure, but I'm not going to transform him otherwise. But some of those I'll transform because they're pretty fun. But, yeah, I agree with Rob. Most of the, like, Combiner Wars level stuff, I don't really enjoy that much because they just don't, they're not that fun to me. The older Masterpiece stuff is actually more fun to sit around and play with. Not the newer stuff. I don't like to play with the newer stuff, but I don't like to play with the third-party stuff. Um, I'll say the most fun to have laying around has actually been these guys lately, the the Cyberverse Deluxes. They've actually been really <laughs> nice to have laying around. I have really like your... It's fine. You can include yeah. me in your vomiting, Rob. <laughs> I I tried. I, I have, I think, I have uh, one of the slipstreams, like the, a smaller slipstream no, that no, I no, kept. No, we're not, no, not those. But... No, the deluxes. They're, those the are deluxes. the only ones I clocked. Are the deluxes, and they're pretty cool. I can't really like show you my hot rod because he's painted, and that would be unfair. Because he looks simultaneously worse and better than he should. But um, there you I, go. See, yeah, I I feel like it's like this weird dichotomy for Anna, where she collects like high end figures and then trash. It's like somehow like. Like, the, the middle-tier stuff, like the Hasbro things, like I know it seems like that you, you don't seem to like as much, but if it's, like, some knockoff garbage or whatever that, like, really needs to be in a landfill, you're like, sign me up. Okay, Cyberverse Delices are not <laughs> landfill garbage. Uh, no, I mean, I they're no Computation that. King, but... They are no Computation King. Computation King is much better. But calculation king. I know. Sorry, whatever. He confused me with his words. <laughs> I'm I'm a ashamed trick. that I know that. No, you should be happy that you know it because that means no. you're loyal. No. To you, not to it. Ugh. Right, exactly. Don't be loyal to a physical object. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I think it's such so... trash. How? I... I hate it so much. I don't understand how you can dislike an original figure that it is the bad. same quality. It does not look bad at all. It looks really bad. It, you just get some sort of weird ass G1 binders on you. Blinders, not binders. Yeah. Where it's just like, it's not a G1 design. It can't be good. Anyway, what are we talking about? Aren't we talking about some pink toy that you guys have? So, so I do Taylor. agree with, like, Ron in the chat said that the downside with Combiner Wars <laughs> is that once you've transformed one figure, you've transformed them all. And, yeah. I mean, that is somewhat true. A lot of the skeleton is somewhat similar. Not this guy. A, I mean, 
Yeah, I mean, this is different, time. and I think that this is this is interesting the way that they that, executed that this modularity thing. allowed us to get all of the major G one combiners. Right. That and that's they're all the scrambled, trade-off. you know. And they all yeah, scramble. And I mean, they're great. That's the trade off, and I'm okay with that trade off. Yeah, like this guy. Yeah, you look at the legs and you think, oh, it's a Combiner Wars leg, but they actually come up and peg onto his back. Is that what Blot does? No. Yeah. Who no, does Swoop it? does that. No, I'm going to have to go get Blot now. Yeah, so no, Blot. I need saying, Blot like, it's right quite different. Person. Yeah, Swoop does that, but it's not normal. Swoop. Oh, yeah, Swoop does do that. I love these ratchets. There would have been Swoopster. Did I? Do I still have it? I don't know. You got rid of Snarl. I did, for sure. Is Lucas freezing up a lot for anybody else, by the way? Yes, yes. he's been frozen this whole episode for me. Really? Okay. Yeah, I get like a frame every 30 seconds. It changes. That's weird. I don't know. I mean, you guys have been coming through fine, so... That's what's important. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I guess... If the... As long as the yeah. stream's good. The, yeah, I was going to say, the most important thing is the stream. No no one has complained yet, so... Yeah, if the right, stream was bad, right. I'm sure we would know by now. Yeah, you say that, and we had that like one episode where it was just me talking for like fifteen. Minutes. Oh yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, but you, that you did that on purpose. Get rid of Christian and Anna. Then right. you want to silence us? A conspiracy. Too bad it hasn't worked. <laughs> A year later, we're still here. Right. right. Somehow. So you guys like this guy? Would you recommend yes. it for the price for someone you know, who? At the beginning yeah. of this episode, I was on the fence about the price, but then I found out about the ratchets and the beast mode legs, and I'm now 100% on board with the price. I mean, I, I would note that they're just <laughs> plastic friction ratchets. So, like, yeah. over time, they're going to wear down. Like, they're not, yeah. like, you know, special ratchet or anything, but it's still cool. Yes, it's very cool. I it's mean, slathered in paint. All of the new parts are wonderfully done. They look great. The beast mode coelacanth head is fantastic. It's got these haunting yellow eyes that you can't see because I have the guns in the way. That haunting yellow eyes. I mean, it's like a scary monster. I love it. It's it's so good. It's so good. Please go out and buy this figure if you can. And if you didn't, if you didn't pre-order it or if you didn't get it in the brief window it was on last week, I don't know how you're going to get it, but you should definitely try. Oh, is it no longer available already? I thought already? it was available again. It's been coming up, in, like the whole sets. I've been kind of like popping up for a little bit, and then they go back out of stock on Pulse and things of that nature. All right. Or yeah, you I mean, can wait for the box set for Celadon. I, I think and it's going to a God Neptune box set for Celadon instead. Remember, that is Christian's wishful thinking. I mean, I would be down with it. Don't get me wrong here. I'm just, I don't want people to think that. Oh, something was announced when it happened. That's true. Christian's, Christian's wishful thinking brought us Reflector last year, so... You've had one win. Yeah, I was going to say, one figure, Christian. How many? There's been, Actually, there's been a lot of wishful thinking. It's four figures. Done. It's each of the Reflector figures and Crimson. I call that specifically. That's... No, sorry. You got one Get set off right. My bag. One set right. I have probably like a thousand other things that we've all said, Oh, man, I hope somebody does that. I bet they do that, and we're always wrong. And it never happens. I'm on yeah. right now. I'm going to be pessimistic because that way, even if I'm wrong, I still win. Because I'm like, cool, see, God Neptune. See, for me, like, Hatch I would rather have the these manga. colors. going to be there. I would rather have these colors over God Neptune anyway. So, oh, I mean, now, if they release a God Neptune, I'm there. I'll buy it as well. But, um, yeah, like, I, I really think that the colors are neat on this. Um, you know, I don't want to spend this much money for like every figure, but it's nice to have a treat like this. And I think there's enough extra little goodies in there between all the different accessories and the paint. Like you said, that I think it's so worth it to me, but I, I was also like, whenever I was collecting Takara, uh, when they were doing their own thing, like I wouldn't get all the Takara releases, but I would get the ones where it, they deviated from, uh, significantly. So like their cup, it was really nice, um, and uh, blur and, and things like that. So, I think this right. is definitely worth it, though. So, so it's pretty I'll, cool. I'm looking at the instructions here because I 
I was curious, like, how you do the gun mode, you know, because you can fan mode that all day, but I was just curious to the officials. And you put down the combiner port and ignore the fact that the rest is wrong. You take the thing in the hand out. And then with his combiner port, you put it in there, and it's the world's shortest stand for his gun mode. But that's what it is. And yeah, and so that's like his his stand, and obviously the rest is all jacked up at the moment. But that's what's going on with that. And that's why the gap is there. That makes sense. That's yeah. nice, I guess. It's a thing you can do. It's a play feature. It absolutely is. No. Well, it's kind of amazing cool. that they put it in the instructions, though. The that's instructions nice. are good. Like, a lot of times instructions are just trash from, like, third parties even worse. Masterpiece are, like, microscopically bad. Um, but no, the instructions are large. They're easy to see. And it shows all the modes. So, like, there's getting to robot, getting to animal, getting to foot, getting to arm, getting to gun mode. And then, like, where to plug in all the crap on him when he's in uh, animal mode. Because he's got a lot of crap. So yeah, the instructions are actually good. Cool. That's nice. Often we complain about instructions, not compliment them. I I actually think that the instructions recently have been pretty good. Like the ones for Earthrise, like I could actually read the instructions, which is a first for a while, um, just because the way that they printed them was actually legible. Must have been a mistake. They're gonna have to. <laughs> it's gonna have to a go low fix bar right there. Like, why is our DPI so high? We need to <laughs> wasted money. We need we need that that to spend that money on eight more slip covers. So you know, cut down the the, the printing. There you go. That's all right. So, but yeah, no. Again, this is this is one of those figures that is probably not going to be out for a long time. So if you're on the fence, like I would go ahead and get him. Uh, now while you can, because don't be like me and my Nemesis Prime and n- not order them, and then now that he's out, I can't find them. So. Yeah, it's probably pretty low risk, too. Like, it's probably very resellable. Yeah. Like, as Paul would say, don't be snoozing. Um, like, I think if you haven't bought it already, you may already be snoozing. Like, you may be a one-way trip to Bone Town if you didn't, you know, pre-order them earlier. And I think they had open pre-order windows. Like, I don't think they sold out, did they? Like, it was, you can pre-order so. these, and then they're made to order. Is that not right? Yes. I think they sold That's out, right. didn't they? Oh, I thought they did. Well, I mean, I think they, they just stopped. They, they stopped quit, selling. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's one of those, if you didn't get it, it definitely was a uh, snoozing moment. Um. But yeah, I would just continually check polls if they're not up there yeah, now. Because I know that they're up earlier today. Um, so, And hopefully they can kind of continue that if, you know, people that do want it. So, And some third-party sellers are going to get on. Um, you should be able to find one if you're vigilant. You may not be able to find it at retail, though. That ship may have sold. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That might have. Like, I think because these are made to order and it's, you know, it's a G1 throwback and it's a set with so much paint and so many, you know, new parts and, and all that. Like, I think it's going to hold its value. And then some, I think. Yeah. It's a set we just haven't got it. It's the thing. Like yep. you just don't really have an option for Pranacon. Yeah. So like, if you're interested in super Megatron, you know, as soon as you find out a way to order that, you should probably order it. You, you know, I don't, because I just don't think they're going to come back around. And I, I, think yeah, gonna... I, I I ended up actually ordering uh, mine through Collecticon for Super Megatron just because I wasn't Same. I wasn't a hundred percent sure how it was going to like whether or not it was coming to Pulse. Uh, just because now again with that Nemesis Prime, uh, so I was like you know what I'm just going to go ahead and secure my order now while I, you know, in so it's safe. But, but yeah, usually all the Takara stuff, I mean, in general, like, once it dries up, it's incredibly hard to find a lot of those. Yeah. And they really hold their value. I've never had trouble selling Takara stuff. Yeah, so if you want it, I would definitely do your hunting now. 
you know, yeah. you're online hunting, not obviously we no longer hunt outside. I mean, this, I don't think this would show up. It doesn't show up in a store to begin with. No. I Unless don't. you're in Japan, maybe, but. Possibly. So. And here's the basics of the gun mode. I mean, I probably got a few things wrong still. It's not great. <laughs> Especially without the, or the, you know, the little miniature stand. It was never but, great though, right? Like, yeah, well, it just doesn't feel like stuff has a spot to peg in. And that's why I've been trying to, you know, be part of the show, but also look at the instructions. Um, trying to see like if the arms, like the arms just fold down and the back just kind of folds up. I don't think they have anywhere they slide in, even though they, huh. I can get the arms to attach there at least. So that's something, but Yeah. I know, I'm, I'm happy that they put the extra effort in to retain all the mo modes that the original had, so kudos and to it's that. Good. Yeah. So, uh, you guys recommend it? Yep. Absolutely. Yes. Go get him. The next time I'll complain about the turtle. There, so, there for the next five weeks, <laughs> well, I guess, I guess in the U.S. y'all won't get them all, like, necessarily in a row like that. But are we going to review the whole set here on microcasters? One way or another. I think that's the plan, potentially, because we know at least that the next four weeks, because uh, the we're going to have Turtler, and then the next two are shipping this week, so we'll at least have those. I don't know about the last two. like When those might happen. Yeah. Those are supposed to come out on the 23rd. Of April? Yes. Okay. So. So but, but who knows in, in general with all the them. shipping stuff I mean like the Netflix all those got delayed um, so those aren't coming until <sighs> June now so but maybe just maybe we'll like be able to get through all of these and then we can just go straight into that or maybe Anna will have some knockoff trash that we can review <laughs> I, I, I also don't got have the new Wave of Studio review, series. But I do have fancy stuff to review, so... Oh, there you go. So, yeah, we may have to borrow you again, Rob. Did you get the um, smoke screen? The new one? The anime-accurate masterpiece? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I, I got it from Big Bad, and that hasn't come in stock yet. Hmm. So, yes, but not yet. Yeah, eventually. Um, we I didn't talk the, about it when you can get it. Yeah. And I also got the um, uh, the MMC Protoform RC, which just shipped uh, a couple days ago as well. Yeah. So that should be coming in soon. I don't know if any of y'all bothered to pick up on I that. I did. Anna did. Okay. Yeah. I did. Like I said, I got fancy stuff coming. I just don't have your mainline trash. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're doing Ouch My Wallet tomorrow night, right, Rob? Like... Uh, no, I have Skipping. stuff beyond just the Seacon set, but you know, I think it's one of those, the more I think about making it every other week and trying to stick to that schedule, the more yeah. happier it makes me feel, and I think the more sustainable the show will, and that gives the cast time as well to, you know, where hopefully I don't have to pull teeth every week. <laughs> so, you know, people are like, get time to get some stuff in, and be like, yeah, sure, you know. Yeah, stuff to, time to accumulate, though, but... Yeah. You know, it's like, it, it, when it rains, it pours, you know, and it's like, when we started doing the show last year, we all had so much stuff, you know, and like we we're in the fall season, we we're in con season, a bunch of toys were coming out. And so we were just all the time we had stuff, but then it kind of dried up and it got awkward. So it's like, I think if we stay every two weeks, you know, I'm sure there'll be some exceptions, but you know, maybe we can have a more reliable schedule. So, yeah. So no, not tomorrow. Um, but week after that, I would hope so. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, and then of course, uh, cut the tape. Uh, TF Talk News on Sunday nights. Uh, that that's that's out. So now that we took weekly out of the show title, it it has been weekly. So yep, right. And that's all we needed. Um, and then uh, TFLP also is uh, should be on Monday night. So uh, should have a live show on uh, this Monday. Uh, so hopefully everyone enjoyed uh, the uh, the show. The, uh, earlier this week, that was a pre-record with uh, Duran was back for for an episode. So with uh, with Serge and and Christian and I, so it was, was a lot of fun to to see uh, both of those guys haven't been on for a while. So it's fun to do a show with them. Um, 
so so yeah but yeah we'll be back to live uh on monday so uh so thank you everyone and if you like what we do uh consider supporting us on patreon patreon.com slash tflp uh tiers as low as a dollar then also uh if you want to continue the chat uh join us on our discord uh links so uh we'll uh we'll continue to share that on facebook there's also links on the youtube page uh if you want to uh join us so but it's a lot of fun there's been a lot of fun discussion a lot of people have been joining us and so we're pretty um, active yep yeah it's not bad i tried to get back in there finally after i I like wasn't in there for a couple weeks so yeah if you're in discord um you know, it's, the gaming community really popularized it because uh, it has voice chat as well. Not that we really use the voice chat in ours, but, you know, it's on your phone. It's on PC. But you can also see when I've been playing Doom a lot lately. <laughs> a lot of that going on. There you go. And Tentacle has a silver mohawk, which is badass. Oh, uh, spoilers. 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 Yeah, definitely spoiling. So. It's a teaser. All right, well, hey. thanks, everyone, and we will see you next week. Even the cat says bye.